Hello, Trojan families. This is Jeff Gardner, principal at Auburn High School. I've got a short message to share with you about state testing. It's coming up in the middle of May, and I put together a short slideshow just to kind of take you through and give you a vis visual. I'll also include uh, the main points or the key points, and I'll do that in some translated languages, and hopefully the message can get out to all families. We've got very high hopes, and we're expecting a great turnout and we want our students to do the very best job they can, of course. And as a school, we want to make sure that all of our students have an opportunity um, to show the state how great they are. OK, I'm going to turn my camera off here so you can focus on the slide. So yeah, we're shooting for 100% participation. Um, and this is the state testing known as uh, Smarter Balance or the WACAS. We're going to do two types of tests, one for 10th graders, uh, both in English and in math, and one for 11th graders um, only in science. So let me click through these and I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Uh, for our 10th graders, they are doing the smarter balance. Some people call it SBA or SBA. Uh, you'll probably hear it on all those different levels. Uh, they're going to test on May 16th, 17th, and 18th. That's a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And this is to meet federal accountability. And for students, it is the graduation requirement. They do have to attempt and complete the SBA testing, okay? If they don't pass it, okay, we've got all kinds of different pathways for them to show the state that they're great students, okay? But this is a way for the students to show the type of education they're getting from their public school system. And our teachers do a great job of attaching all their lessons to standards, all attached to the Smarter Balance. So really, it's it's an accountability for our schools. So again, we want our students to do the very best job they can, okay? It helps all of us. Okay, on May 16th and 17th, the first two days of the testing is gonna be the WCAS or WACAS testing. And this is the Washington State Comprehensive Assessment of Science. And again, to meet federal accountability and to fulfill graduation requirements. So how the days break down is on Tuesday, our 10th graders are gonna test on days one and two in ELA, English Language Arts, and then our 11th graders on days one and two, they're gonna do the science test. We're gonna have a three hour block and we will serve lunch. Uh, kids will have an opportunity to have lunch during their first period on that day. First period will be in the afternoon or midday and uh, they'll either have first lunch or second lunch depending on where their first period teacher's class is located in the building. And then they'll finish the day with second period these are gonna be about 80 minute blocks of time. So they're gonna be able to get a lot done in their first and second periods. Okay, the next day, um, probably predictable based on what I've just shared with you. It'll be the second day of ELA testing for 10th graders and the second and last day of science testing. And then on this day, there's a little bit of a caveat to it. You know, if we looked at this, it should be periods three and four. We're actually gonna reverse it, okay? Kind of keep our students on their toes a little bit. It's gonna be periods four and then three. The reason we're gonna go with four is because everything's gonna be um, tied into the fourth period for lunches on that day. That's what we normally do. So when they're done with the testing and the kids that aren't testing arrive to school and we will have a place for kids that show up early um, if they're not testing, um, they'll just go to their lunch like they normally do on fourth period, either A lunch or B lunch, and they'll end the day with third period. So on Thursday, it's only going to be our 10th graders testing with math, and then we will finish the day fifth and sixth, okay? So that's that. Um, know that, oh, let me go back one. Um, for students that can't finish the testing uh, in the three-hour block, they're going to have a space where they can continue on with their tests. We'll make sure they get lunch. And if they take all day testing, because that's happened before, because our kids really want to do a great job, and some just take longer than others to do that. Uh, they can go to the end of the day, all right? Main thing is we want kids to do the very best job they can do. All right, uh, for students that aren't here on those days, uh, we will be looking for them, and they're gonna need to test on May 23rd all the way through the 31st. We'll be pulling them out of their classes, which uh, is another reason why we want 100% of the kids showing up on the 16th, 17th, and 18th. So that way we don't have to pull them out of their incredibly important classes to do that. We are going to reach, reach 100%, and it would be great if we can do that on the 16th, 17th, and 18th, but we know in a school as large as ours, um, uh, that could be an impossibility. But it could be a possibility to hit 100% counting the makeup days, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get there. So need your help. 
get your uh, students well rested on those days. I know it's hard when they're teenagers and they have a lot of energy and they want to stay up late. But if you can encourage them to get to bed, you know, at a, at a regular time or a little bit early, uh, maybe not play that last video game or make that last phone call or whatever they're doing um, or work on that late shift um, and get a great breakfast in the morning if, if they're breakfast eaters. Uh, Again, students will need to show up to their testing locations by 8.05 on those three days. And for the students who are not testing and they show up to school anyway, uh, we will have uh, a place for them to kind of just do a long study hall. So if you got some students who just need a lot of work to catch up on and uh, you don't want them sleeping in at home because you're going to have to get them to school somehow because the buses are only going to run at their regular times, um, send them to school because we'll keep them busy in a study hall atmosphere. All right. Thank you so much for listening. We're going for 100% and I'm pretty sure we're going to get it. Thank you.